Good afternoon, everybody. Hi. Hello. Hello. Yeah, of course we are tired because uh, since uh, early in the morning we have a lot of great sessions here today. And uh, take a deep breath. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Yeah, so this is an ice break for me. Thank you. And uh, I'd like to start my session, but before I start, I'd like to say thank to all the staffs regarding this conference uh, for preparing a great conference. And uh, uh, they are a lot of make they made a lot of efforts. I see the folder at the Facebook. They're, they're preparing this venue uh, until the may, uh, maybe three. Three in the morning. It's great. Thank, thank staffs. Thank you. And of course, thank you for having me, and thank you for the great audience. Uh, it's not the Academy Hour. Let's go fast. Uh, hello, I am Otari Yamazaki. I am a dev rel for Enabla. So you might know, didn't know that. Is there anybody who knows Enabla? Oh, thank you very much. And uh, Enabler is an IoT and application development tool, and I am a developer and also a product marketing team lead. Joined this company, Uhu Corporation, uh, since the last March uh, 2018. It's almost a year. I love coffee and craft beer and a car. Coffee, especially for light roast. And craft beer, do you know uh, Punk IPA from uh, Blue Dog? Yeah, thank you, thank you. I love punk IPA and a car. <laughs> what I'm talking, to, what I'm going to talk about today is five tips regarding uh, uh, building a robust developer team. I almost forgot my title. And for especially for you guys, developer person, especially for the beginners, why virtual team? Because internal resources are limited, as I told, and not every coworker is so cooperative, I found it. Involving external people is fun and scalable. Uh, working together with talented people is so fun and uh, stimulate my uh, creative mind. And <laughs> That's why I will introduce uh, five tips at last. Sorry for waiting. The number one is love. Some people might think it's not worth discussing because it's so simple, so basic. Love for your product and service is very, uh, uh, very important. That's why I this uh, as number one. How to love your product and service. Some people think uh, we cannot love our own product. I don't like it. But if you are a developer person, you have to love your product first. I will let you know how to know the product, uh, love your product. The first thing is know the product first. How to know? Know the people. For example, product developers, operations engineers, and support engineers. By the way, this is these are the guys of our software product developers. Uh, one of the guys is over there. Alex, hello. Okay. And the second, how do you know the product? Know the story regarding the birth of the product. For example, name, concept, who built it, who created it, and when. Those kind of information will help you to love your product. Number two, write down and share your idea. Last year, uh, I visited Brewery Dog Brewery. Uh, I told uh, the Punk IBS Brewery uh, at the Scotland. And at the factory, uh, there's a charter hanging on the wall. 
And uh, according to their website, it says, how do we use the blue dog charter, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's too long. I want you to express, explain all of them. And there's a charter. And it's a myth. Look at this. They put lab in the middle of that. And the other wall on their brewery, another charter is hanging. They share what they believe, and they share their charter. My, uh, just have fans like me should uh, see this and uh, have an empathy. So what they are trying to do is underline, please, please look at the underline sentence. To recruit, to recruit perfect people and to spot the best talent from within and outside BrewDog and develop those people into informed, passionate, ass-kicking craft beer guardians. What they are trying to do is to be a team of craft beer guardians. So you can share your idea with others, not only at a meeting rooms, but uh, at a coffee stand, at a beer bar, at a meter, and of course, at a great conference like this. Oh, woo. <laughs> Share your beliefs. Number three, sharpen your sword. Why a sharp sword is required? Great, great, thank you. <laughs> cool, just like your fellowship of the ring. Uh, do you know that movie? Some of you know. <laughs> but, but it's uh, joking, joking. Uh, that sharp sword could be an interface to the others, other professionals. If you have a sharp sword, just like uh, professionalism, you can talk and communicate with uh, your profession to other professions. You, uh, you could uh, invite other professionals to your team and at the same time, you could be a great member to other teams. That's why a sharp sword is required. Your goal image like this. And don't get it. Uh, it, it don't take it so seriously. Just say image. <laughs> <laughs> Number four is give, give, and give. At the, I had an impressive phrase at the one community marketing meeting. Uh, he, uh, one community manager said, uh, the more you involve someone, the more you will be involved by someone. If you uh, invite team members, at the same time, you will be uh, required, needed by other teams. So you, if you can give anything else to other thing, uh, other members, other persons, you have to give, give, and give. The first 12 months or first uh, two years or anything else, you, you can, if you can give anything, you can give it, give it, give it. Someday, they will give back. Which person is you? Upper person or lower person? Could be poor. That's why you have to give, give, and give. Number five, last thing is mindfulness. Do you know mindfulness? Anybody? Okay, okay. The mindfulness, what is mindfulness? Stay focused on present. Do not judge, just aware. Good on bad, nothing. In short, those two phrases. But a uh, little bit more details regarding this. Mindfulness is the basic human ability to be fully present, aware of where we are and what we are doing, and not overly reactive or overwhelmed by what's going on and around us. Just be present, stay focused where you are. How does mindfulness work? This is the uh, data from one uh, research after seven weeks training to 123 managers. Uh, 
but one, two, three, four, five, five points, everything has increased. Increased focus is four point, uh, 48 point increase. Personal productivity is 40 point increase. Employee satisfaction is 31 point increase. Ability to prioritize is 34 point increase. Performance pressure is 34 point increase. Everything is increased by mindfulness. How does it work for a developed person? First, not being haunted by past failures. I confess another failure. Two weeks ago, I had a, a small event at the Osaka. I'm not telling you the details, but uh, I failed. I screwed up. Our company's vice president got angry so much. I thought I almost fired, be fired, but it's okay. And uh, after one or two days, I uh, really deep, uh, was really depressed. But uh, I did a meditation with mindfulness. Mind, it's okay now. Number two, always can be positive to other members. And number three, can be productive. And so there's a lot of. Uh, effectiveness in, uh, to merit to buy mindfulness activities. Okay, but how how to meditate? Uh, how to uh, have a uh, mindfulness mind? Meditate every day, even five minutes. How to meditate? First, close your eyes. The second, stay focused on your breath. Count your breaths. Inhale one, exhale two. Inhale three, exhale four. Count one, two, ten, and go back to one again. Just easy. Easy as one, two, three. Even five minutes is very effective. And my recommendation is application. For example, Headspace. This application is I, uh, for iOS, Android, and Google Home. And uh, at uh, some Google events, uh, one person introduced this app. It's very great, but uh, not free. Okay, let me summarize five tips. One is love. Everyone say, love. love. Yeah, great. <laughs> 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 the second, write down and share. Three, give, give, and give. Four, sharpen your sword. Five, mindfulness. But the most important thing is not five things. <laughs> the most important thing is don't give up. Thank you very much for having me.